Okay, I just wanted to give everybody a little bit of an introduction to how we're going to be using the Sims in order to teach languages. Now, if you're not familiar with the Sims, the Sims has been around for a long, long time. Uh, I believe something like 17, 18 years it's been around. And it's a life simulation game. And as a result, uh, I think it's a fantastic tool to learn languages. So the Sims comes in 17 languages. And in this situation, we're going to be using English, the English version, in order to demonstrate just what an effective tool this can be in order to help you to improve your languages. All right, so we've got uh, eight characters here that I have sent out on a little trip to um, the island bluffs and you can see the, the bluffs right here and uh, let's go ahead and i'll show you some of the really basic tools uh, some of the basic actions that you can do uh, in order to uh, help you improve your vocabulary so let's go ahead and pick somebody here and this is these are some characters that i've made uh, this is sebastian and let's go ahead and sebastian is going to go ahead and introduce himself to katrina or maybe not introduce let's just have him get to know her and then let's go ahead and click on this guy here this is Mick let's go ahead and find Mick down there Mick is going to get introduce himself or say something to Woods here this is Woods Robbins so let's go ahead and uh, he's going to ask about the day ask about his day there and then let's pick another character this is Olga and Olga is going to do what? She's going to share some photos with Lou. Okay. All right. So let's press plus play here, and um, let's go see. We'll see what happens. So so. Doctor Silva. Ooh, Rissalak. Flazi. Harnakwap Dufa. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and stop it real quickly here. Here you've got a history over here. And basically what it'll do is it's going to tell you what's happening. And we can see here acquired the charisma skill. Who? Sebastian. All right, Sebastian acquired the charisma skill. All right. So let's read this real quick. Sebastian's new skill and charisma will allow him to successfully joke more frequently and learn about other sims faster. More varied types of interactions unlock at higher levels okay good so we have a nice uh, sentence there that we can analyze and and go through the grammar if we wanted to but let's go ahead and continue and see what else can happen so you don't have complete control over them let me go ahead and stop it here real quickly you don't have complete control over them and as a result they can kind of do whatever they want i mean you can give them commands and we see here, I gave him this command to talk with, with them, but they might go ahead and do whatever they want to do here. And um, you can see that even though I did not give uh, these two commands over here, they're still talking and doing whatever they want to do. And we can see we've got some nice little symbols up here so that we get an idea of what they're talking or thinking about. So here we can see that he is thinking about who this person right over here or this person oh he's thinking about uh, lizzie and uh, he's talking to katrina katrina so so maybe we can, since he's thinking about her maybe we know that there's an attraction so we can go ahead and let's go ahead and click on him and that's sebastian let's go ahead and click on sebastian and let's see what happens if he's going to go over and talk to lizzie or not um and see what happens here. See, now this is the uh, queue over here. So he's chatting with Virginia and he's going to be chatting with Lizzie too. So let's go ahead and see. So conversation continues and, but he moves over and he tries to get in on the conversation here. But what's happening? He's chatting with Virginia and Lizzie. And we can see sometimes it's not exact. He's trying to get into the conversation here. But because other people are talking, and we got a lot of chatter going on here because what you hear in the background is not a real language. It's uh, Simlish, and uh, it's the language that the Sims use. Uh, there's a long history for this as to why they chose this language. 
uh, one of the reasons was is that to translate the Sims' thoughts and ideas into a bunch of different languages would have been too difficult for the game, uh, too costly at the beginning. So they just speak in Simlish. So let's go ahead and we're going to do something else here. I'm going to move them over. And you can see there's lots of different actions here. So we have, uh, this is a little resort that I made. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And you can see it's just like a little resort here on the island bluffs. And uh, we're going to have them go ahead and take a swim. So here's, let's go ahead and Sebastian's going to make the call here. And he is going to, let's see if we can get these guys to go over here. Let's see, Mick. And he is going, they're going to swim, not skinny dip. We don't want to do that. Um, not yet, at least. Uh, let's go ahead and swim here as a group. And we'll see what happens here. Okay, so he's talking to Woods right now. And you can't hear them because they're off in the distance. But watch, they'll all start running over here because they're as a group. And you can see you got a lot of stuff that you can click on here. Let's go ahead and click on that. You can dig there. Uh, you got little butterflies floating around. And uh, lots of things that you can do here. There's a tree here. Let's see what that. That's a wild pear tree. And uh, they're all coming in to the pool. They're all jumping in, changing into their swimsuits. And um, you can see that they're, it's, they're going for a swim. All right. So you just look like on yeah. Olga here. She's swimming around, jumping for a swim. Now let's go ahead and you know, maybe Sebastian doesn't like swimming too much. And so we're going to take him over here and we're going to have him hire a barista. Let's see if we can do Yep. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. He wants to have some coffee and he's not too keen on swimming. So let's have him just make himself a drink if he can and for here and see we've got all different types of we got a cafe latte we got a macchiato we got americano and an espresso so let's have him make an americano that's my favorite drink so he's going over to do that first he's going to hire barista and oh see now she's feeling the same way but let's see where she's going i think this is katrina katrina's heading on upstairs She's not interested in swimming. Let's see, we can kind of follow her along there. This guy's doing the same thing. And she's going into one of the rooms there. And these sims tend to be a little lazy sometimes. See, eh? well, you'll find them on the computer or watching TV or doing something like that. So you don't have complete control over your character. And you can see this. So now we've got some interaction here and we've got let's just make sure i think that's katrina and this is woods so let's go ahead and um do this let's go ahead and uh, have them have a little conversation where is she where there she is all right i'm just going to talk to each other and uh get to know and uh, bright and day. And here we can see we got another um, little message just popping up. This is Brand Hecking. Uh, does the humor and hijinks festival sound interesting to you? I hear the teas there are pretty crazy. All right. So he is sending a message to who? He said, okay, he's sending it to Katrina, and she doesn't want to go. If we click on this, they're going. she's going to leave, and we won't be able to continue. So we'll just say cancel that. Okay? So I'm going to stop this video at about 10 minutes here because I think you can get an idea of how we're going to use this in order to learn languages. There's so many options with everything. You can see that everything has more choices, and you can do so many different things with this. So, yeah, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and end the video, but this is how we use the Sims in order to learn, in this situation, English. And again, you can put the game on any one of 17 languages and uh, teach it that way. But yeah, that's it.
And you can see they're very social characters. The Sims love to talk to each other and be social. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this. All right. Take care.